Hi friends, today is um, Tuesday, April 14th, and we are going to jump right in to our word of the day. Get ready. Word of the day. 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 All right, see if you can figure it out based on this sentence. There was an obvious difference between Arielle's outstanding work and her partner's poor work. Oops. There was an obvious difference between Arielle's outstanding work and her partner's poor work. See if you can figure it out based on that sentence. All right, well, if I'm looking at this sentence and I'm trying to figure out what obvious might mean, I'm going to say, okay, it must be super different than her partner's poor work because it says that there was an obvious difference between her outstanding work and her partner's poor work. And I know that outstanding work looks really different than poor work. So I'm thinking to myself, maybe obvious means clear. And lo and behold, obvious means easily perceived, which means seen or understood. So if something is really obvious, it's easy to see and to understand. Cool? Cool. So if you say, obviously, I should be the line leader because I am super good at being in charge of lines. That means clearly. If you say um, there's an obvious disagreement between two children, it means there's a definite disagreement between them. So obvious means easy to see and understand. All right, cool. Let's move on. So we started on Friday with figuring out how to find mistakes in writing. And the reason why we're so focused on that is because it's really critical to have this skill as a reader and as a writer, especially when we're working on editing our own work and the work of our friends. So we need to figure out not just what the mistake is, but also what the correct word would be and why they made the mistake. So we're going to focus today on two different reasons that words can be incorrect in sentences, and then we're going to fix those sentences. Here's an example. I loved the puppies that come to my house yesterday. Now, I see two words already that do not make a ton of sense. And the first one is puppies. And I know that that word is wrong because it's spelled with a Y-S. And I know that's one of those words where I have to drop the Y and that I-E-S. So that word should be puppies with an I-E-S. The next word is cummed. Cummed is not really a word that does not make any sense to me. That word should be came. So I'm going to write down puppies and came. And then to keep track for myself, I'm writing drop the Y and add I-E-S and drawing an arrow from come to came. All right. So for this sentence, let's do it again. We're looking for the errors to figure out what words are wrong, what they should be, and why they were a mistake. Miss Dixon drank her coffee and then eated candies. Holy cow. Excuse me. There are so many mistakes in the sentence. The first one that I see is not Miss Dixon. It's drinked. Drinked does not sound right, like the right word for me. Uh, like a correct word at all, honestly. And then I think about it. I think, okay, is drinked a word? No, that must be in a regular past tense verb. It must mean drink. I know that was one of our regular past tense verbs that we already talked about. Miss Dixon drank her coffee and then eated candies. Is eat it a word? Nope. That's another irregular past tense verb. It should be drank and ate because they are irregular past tense. Now I'm going to look at this word, candies. Hmm, something looks wrong with that word. I know that puppies was wrong because there was a Y-S. Candies is another word where when I make it plural, I need to drop the Y and that I-E-S. Add candies. Y to I-E-S. All right, now you're going to try two on your own. I forgot to tell you this in the beginning of the video, but obviously you're going to need a pencil and a paper. So go ahead and get that now. If you don't have it already, I'll give you just a second. You already have. I'll show you a picture. On Saturday, I ran a marathon. I ran 26 miles in Boston just by myself. And as you can see from my very sad face at the end, it hurt a lot, but I was very proud of myself. And if you know me, you know how much I love coffee. 
so that first half after I was running was to go get coffee. Okay, if you're um, back, that's awesome. You should have a paper and a pencil. We're going to try your turn to fix these sentences. To fix these sentences. They begin at 6, and Jake and Jacob fighted until 7. See if you can find the first problem in that sentence. They begin at 6, and Jake and Jacob fighted until 7. Well, I see begin here, and something looks wrong with begin. And I think something is wrong with begin is because it's not a word at all. Do you remember what that past tense of begin is? It's began. So that's an irregular past tense verb. They began at six, and Jake and Jacob fighted until seven. What looks wrong in this sentence? The word fight it looks wrong to me. Is fight it a word? Nope. That's another tricky irregular past tense word. That should be fought. Because you can't just add ed to that word. You have to find what the past tense is, which is fought. So there were two mistakes here. So I found them and then I fixed them. And I know that both of them are wrong because they're irregular past tense verbs. And as a reminder, past tense are things that already happened. All right. Elliot drived his car too fast and breaked the law. Take a second to see if you can find the correct words. Or, I'm sorry, the words that are incorrect. And then we'll figure out how to fix them. All right. Well, I know drive is not a word, so I'm going to highlight that word. Elliot drived his car too fast and braked the law. That braked is also not a word, so I'm going to highlight that as well. Do you see one more word that is incorrect? One more word where you can see a problem? Yeah, well, if I look at the beginning, Elliot looks wrong. What's wrong with the word Elliot? Let's find out. Well, I know that the word Elliot should be capitalized because that's the proper noun. That's his name. It answers the question, who? Elliot. So Elliot, because it's his name. What should drive be? I know drive is not a word. What should I make drived instead? What's the past tense of drive? It's drove. Elliot drove his car too fast and braked the law. Hmm. I had one more problem. What should break be? Break should be broke. Elliot drove his car too fast and broke the law. Now, for your exit ticket, you're going to need to do some of these by yourself. You can either do it like I did here, where I just highlight the ones that were wrong and then write the correct answer, or you can literally write the sentence if that's easier. Elliot drove his car too fast and broke the law. It's honestly whatever works best for you. You just need to tell me which ones were wrong and then fix them. Okie doke. Now we're going to move on to our to today's irregular past tense verbs. Remember, past tense are things that already happened. And you can say yesterday. They usually have ED, but we have a bunch of the irregulars that we know now. Present tense are things that are happening right now or always happen every day. Like I am scratching my nose my nose, or I eat at 12. And then the future tense is things that will happen. And they include the word will or going. And you can say tomorrow. All right. These are our new ones for today. The past tense of hang is hung. I hung up my award-winning painting. Just kidding. Do not have any award-winning paintings. The past tense of have is had. I had 65 ideas about what to cook, but my friends didn't like them. The past tense of here is heard. You wouldn't say, I heard you whispering in the corner. You would say, I heard you whispering. The past tense of hide is hid. Spider-Man hid under the table. The past tense of hit is hit. Batman tried to high-five David, but accidentally scared, but accidentally hit him instead. That was funny. The past tense of hold is held. When I was scared, my sister held my hand. And the past tense of hurt is hurt. 
like Harmony hurt her wrist at recess. Excuse me. So whenever you come across one of these words, you can't just add ed if you're making it past tense. You have to think about, okay, what is the past tense form of this word? Let's start with have. What's the past tense form of have? Oh, I see right here. It's had. So I'm going to write, I had a lot of stomach pains. Then I ate lunch and felt better. Past tense of have is had. Now let's come up with a complete sentence for hurt. What's the past tense of hurt? Same exact thing as present tense. It's just hurt. So maybe I hurt my knee when I was little. All right. Nice job, team. Let's remind ourselves of the word of the day. The word of the day was obvious, and that means an easily perceived or noticed or understood thing. So you can say, obviously, I should win the science fair because my experiment was the best. Or you can say she made an obvious change to her hair. Like it was really clear to everybody. Today on the exit ticket, we're going to do dictation. You're going to find mistakes, which involves picking the words that are wrong and then showing what the correct words would be. And you're going to write sentences, not just words, but sentences with these words in the past tense. All right, let's jump into your dictation. Make sure that your paper is ready to go. Your name is at the top, dictation is ready. All right. I caught seven fish and brought them home. I caught seven fish and brought them home. I caught seven fish and brought them home. All right, good job. Good luck fixing those sentences. I'll see you tomorrow.